Hi friends, welcome back to the part 2 of this tutorial series. In this part, we will look at the prerequisites. So the first prerequisite is Node.js. You can install this from their official website. I will be sharing all these links in the description of this video. So make sure you check the description and you will have all the links available there for all the tools. So the next item in the list is Nest.js package itself. You can install this tool or the package with the help of npm command line. This is the commandlet that you need to run. It will install the tool globally on your machine. Third thing is the Angular CLI. So I will be using Angular for the front end development. If you want, if you plan to code along with me, then make sure you install it. Or else, if you want to choose any other framework like React or Vue or maybe something else, so in that case, you will be on your own. Uh, the next item is the Postman client. This will be used to test our REST API with various endpoints and this is the most popular client uh, people use and you can simply download it from here and, and install it it's free of cost so for the database like i mentioned i will be using mysql so i installed the community server edition on my machine if you want you can install it it's free of charge again but if you, if you want you can also use or download samp as an alternative which will give you apache mariadb mysql and PHP my admin also it's a web based uh, portal where you can manage and manage your databases and see all the databases there uh, do some SQL stuff okay and, and th that is pretty handy so for the IDE you can either choose Visual Studio code but uh, this is free of course of course and it's available from Microsoft's official website for various platforms however I will be using my favorite WebStorm for the purpose of this tutorial it's a, it's a paid one but you can also download it for free for, for 30 days uh, as a trial version uh, or if you want to use something else please feel free to do that uh, because this tutorial is not limited to the choice of IDEs the last thing uh, I would like to use here is dweaver is the universal database tool so that I can connect to my database and check what uh, what all is there and it also has this nice uh, diagram uh, of your database it gives you this di nice diagram based on the relationship that you have and it can connect to various different databases at once it's MySQL PostgreSQL anything uh, that you can think of you can connect from this tool okay so with that being said uh, in the next video I will be creating a brand new project with the nest JS CLI and we will uh, try to understand the project structure we will also create our first module that will be the to do module and we'll continue from there so till then please stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe my channel hit the bell icon uh, like this video share with your friends and colleagues and also put your comments in the comment section below so i i hope everyone is uh, staying safe so take care of yourself and your family and i'll see you in the next video till then take care and bye bye